when we last left our heroes, Jill was fighting the nemesis. And unfortunately, like the idiot I was, I didn't save and got killed right here because of those rockets. It's been a while since uh, we actually played this game, and unfortunately, my buddy Aaron, who does these Let's Plays with me, was not able to make it because, well, I moved, and that's about two and a half hours away from where I used to live, so he can't be here to do any more Let's Plays unless he comes to visit. So I've been playing this game all night to get back to this point where I got killed before. Uh, wait, do I have everything? Cable, fuse, fuel. Okay. Uh, so it's not going to be as fun uh, without my buddy here, but we'll still try to do what we can. Damn it, I'm going to climb up. I can't even remember what really happens when you choose to drop down. I don't remember where Jill exits from. But, no time to wonder about that now. I swear though, this is the Resident Evil. Out of every Resident Evil game in the series, I can just keep going back to and playing, no matter what. Wait, do I need the handgun too? Yeah, I'll take that just in case. I don't think I'll be... Uh... Damn, I can't remember. Oh boy. Yeah, that, there's a chance for me to get some gunpowder. Uh, what you guys haven't seen this time around is that I'm hoarding the gunpowder more and more. I actually got lucky in a couple of the areas that I was in where the ammo was not there before last time I played. So, yay. Hmm. Since these creatures are gone for some reason, which I am not complaining about, this has my ammo. Good, I'm part of A. I'm gonna need a lot of this stuff to make. Uh, cause what I normally do when I play Resident Evil 3 is I will use the gunpowder late in the game. I won't use it right now. I will save it until the end. Uh, pretty much like the final fight before the Nemesis. Or. Most of the time, with the uh, clock tower battle that is sadly coming up at one point. Yeah, that zombie's down there, so I have to worry about that. Anything else? Is this room? Yeah. Right. But yeah, like I said, this Resident Evil out of all of them, it's just more fun to me. I get more joy out of playing this than 1, 2, and 3, and even Code Veronica. Because. Resident Evil 1, I'm probably going to do like a little thing on this, but I'll just say it right now anyway, like Resident Evil 1 was pure survival horror, it wasn't really action oriented, you pretty much just had to go and be like, what's going to happen next kind of deal. And here's Mr. Happy. Oh! That was a good dodge. Yes, uh, Resident Evil 1 was the game where you just... You were spooked by everything around every corner. You had to solve puzzles. It was it was a good game. Two was pretty much the same as the first one, except for ooh, wait. Ah, oh, nice. It's gunpowder B. Two was a lot like the first one, but it had more open area. There were more monsters. It felt more freaky, and they had more. What do I want to say? They had more of. Uh. The shock value was still there. They just had, like, the different creatures this time around. As all of you know, they had, like, the, the liquor that was thrown in there. Kind of replaced the hunter in that game of uh, Resident Evil 1. And, unfortunately, those things come back here in number 3, and they're not easy to deal with. And 2, like I said, 2 is pretty much 1. Just a little bit more action uh, thrown in there. And 3 is pretty much everything the first 2 was, but then... They threw more action in it, and backtracking played a bit more of a role in this one, I think, than number two. But, I like, this part right here, like, this stuff didn't really happen in Resident Evil 1 that much. And it happened a little bit in number two, but it happens more than you think in this game. Oop. Come on, come on. Come on, Jill. Come on. Either way, like, the first two were great, and then... Code Veronica was a graphical leap. It was almost a setback to what the first one was. It really had a creepy vibe. 
That one was actually probably... It had to have been the scariest one. No, I thought... Th I, I must have already got those earlier. Uh, one was real. I mean, uh, one was creepy. Everybody knows that. There's no denying it. That one was... Scared the crap out of everybody. But... Code Veronica scared me in different ways because of the graphics and the music that was in it, too. So that was amazing, right there. And then 4 came out, and 4 probably scared me, like, once or twice. <laughs> Had a few shock moments, but it was still a good game. Oh, use this. Arrows. And we're all set to go. He looks like we're ready to go. Here, take this. He's pretty much the, like, the thin, exotic Barry Burton of this game. Just shows up randomly and gives Jill items. Okay. Uh, Nikolai won't be joining us. I understand. I'll operate the cable car. Let's go. As I'm standing here injured. Hello, Micaiah. It's looking good. Hooray! These graphics just take me back to my childhood. This stuff is just great. We're rocking. Mikhail. Hey, what's going on in the back? I don't know. It looks dangerous. You go first. <laughs> Mikhail. Is Nemesis. Which I know what to do here. Jill, get out of the cable car now! Mihail, wait, don't! Get out of here! Hurry! Boom. I love this part. Whoosh! This body just gets thrown out the damn thing. Ah, uh, he'll be okay. We'll see him in the mercenaries. Operation Mad Jack. No, the brakes are out. Ah! Of course they are. Jump out the window. Do it. Uh, I, I don't understand why it does that, honestly. Um, when she was supposed to speak. She was supposed to speak. She goes, it's no use, and then jump out the uh, window. I don't understand why it's been doing that. Because it happened a couple of other times in this game. Yeah, you'll be feeling that in the morning. Happened a couple of other times, like, uh, earlier in the game, like, the audio for her cut out, like, it didn't, sp she didn't speak at all. I never understood why it did that, but. Okay, from the zombies. I'll just grab this and I'll be on my way. I love, I love how they don't even, like, animate the full animation of the picture falling, it's just like, it skipped a frame. Because <laughs> in, like, the hospital, I'm pretty sure uh, the painting drops or something. I know there's a painting that drops, like, very easily. Alright. I always really admired this room right here. This was actually a really nicely decorated room. I I'd like to have something like this one day for my own house some sometime. Like, a nice little area like this. Um, I'm not a chess player, but if my mentor uh, came over and everything, he'd want to play chess with anybody else, probably. Guys... Both, uh, both my mentors are ungodly awesome at 
uh, at chess. I've never been able to learn how to play chess to save my life, unfortunately. But these I'll leave here for now. There. I shouldn't need anything. You use the clock tower key. Alright, now. I start in that room. I should go outside. I guess where I find Carlos. That part actually freaked me out years ago. Well, we both managed to survive. Maybe we can start helping each other again. Yeah, it's been rough. But we can rest now. No, we're the only ones left. There's no rest for the wicked. Here's a gift for you. <laughs> Another gift. See, Barry was never this kind. He didn't give this many gifts this uh, like short of time between the meets. Ah, freeze rounds. We're gonna need these. Yeah, I really wish they did more with Carlos's character, like, bring him back for other stuff. I mean, Operation Raccoon City, yeah, he was in it, but, I mean, he looked like he'd been eating donuts or something like that. He, he didn't look like he used to. Okay, what? Yeah, I can't do that. Right. So I got freeze rounds. Oh, yeah, outside is where they got the herbs outside, I believe. Find the grenade launcher here too. Uh, the mine thrower. I was really never one for using the mine thrower, honestly. I didn't. Um, it was cool, but against the nemesis, it just wasn't the right choice. Unless it was the homing ones. Because if you could, uh oh. If you could get distance between yourself and the nemesis to use that thing, you actually it was actually a pretty good weapon. Oh damn crows! Where's my knife? Ah, excellent. I'm not taking any chances this time around. I am, like, just stockpiling on herbs and ammo. Should grab a blue one. You know what? I'll grab both. This is a save room coming up, so... Perfect. That door's locked. Oh, my eyes! I'm gonna do health. Yeah, that didn't fully heal me though, I can tell you that much. Alrighty. Thank you, kind soldier. He's holding something in his hand. Operation instructions. Wipe out the downtown area of the infestation and then evacuate the remaining citizens at the clock tower. Among the civilians, remember to give priority to employees of Umbrella's affiliations. Remember to stay alert because of the infection that have a high endurance rate and will strike without hesitation. Oh shit. Once the mission is complete, or when it becomes too impossible to accomplish, evacuate immediately. We'll deploy a helicopter that is waiting in the suburbs to the yard in front of the clock tower. Number three. When you... When you are ready for the evacuation, ring the bell at the clock tower to signal the helicopter. It's a good plan, except for the fact that everything you need to ring the bell was mysteriously hidden. Never understood why they did that. Alright. Must have died fighting. Nah, he just fell asleep and didn't wake up. There we go. Whoa! Yeah, pal, I'm not falling for that. Crap nuggets. Well, I'm not, I might as well do that. Years ago as a kid, I never noticed that, that the head was actually moving. I never noticed that at all. And I'll unlock this for whatever reason. Come on, get off the wall. <laughs> Alright. 
more herbs away. Ooh, let me put it there. Grenade rounds. Damn, I still don't have the eagle handgun. I mean, in all fairness, I really, I, n I really never get that thing anyway. Uh, I do like it because it, it is really a badass weapon, but I don't really feel that you need it that much in this game. You know what? You, I'm gonna save. Let's just take one of these. Yeah, I don't need to save just yet. Oh yeah, you, you go in there. At least I'll be able to get the eagle handgun soon. When I electrocute the nemesis. Oh, nice, more gunpowder. It must be my birthday. No, take the damn thing. Man, I am going to have so much ammo. Yep. That's not good. Alright. Hmm. Don't think I have just uh, quite enough just yet. <laughs> I don't think I need to. Ah, oh, yeah, no, I don't need the lock pick right now. But this I'm gonna need. Hmm. What do we have? Now, this part doesn't make any sense. Now watch where I am. I'm, I'm right here at the edge of the piano. Cutscene activates. I'm in the middle of all this crap. And that's what happens. See, told you I wasn't fully healed either. I hated that. I always did. Because sometimes like, I would only have the grenade launcher or the handgun equipped. So there was nothing I can really do against any of that. So I got those, but I can't go... I'm trying to remember where I'm supposed to go. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta go upstairs, up to the tower. Well, we know he's here. <laughs> Damn spiders! See, so, yeah, that's bullcrap. That spider should have got blown up. Oh, how did it? Oh boy. I'm not asking questions. <laughs> Just gonna nod my head. Yes, I will. You know, how were they supposed to do this whole evacuation plan if everything was, like, it was hidden? I don't understand that at all. Oh god, I thought that thing just gave out on me. I mean, I'm not playing the disc, I'm actually playing the, the, the downloaded version of this game, so... Seeing that right there just creeps me out. Like, you know you're not running on a disc, so when it, the loading starts to slow down, you just... You start to panic. <laughs> oh man, there's, there's a barbecue going on outside somewhere. Ever since I moved to this neighborhood, I, I, can't, I hate having the windows open. Because that's all I can smell is an awesome barbecue somewhere. Alright. You operate it. So I believe 
think it was down. Yeah. So up, B was down. The hell? So then D's gotta go down then. Okay. See, if I was playing for time, doing a time thing, this is what would, what would kill me. This is ridiculous. Chrono Trigger. <laughs> All right. You can just stay right there. Actually, I need the handgun parts now. And you are just throw in there. Oh, nice! Not that gonna be much help, but... I don't know when you get to update these things to the, the homing. I know when the infinite ammo's on, they're instantly homing. I think that might be the only way to do it, but... Oh, I'm gonna fight more things, and... I'm probably going to need more shotgun ammo. There we go. Yes, it will go down. Dun dun! This one's a no-brainer. Here you go, buddy. Put a shock to your system. He'll be getting back up soon. And now we have this. It fires faster, it is sleek, smooth, sexy, and it takes heads off better than the Samurai Edge. Yeah, he's still alive. I'm just happy all these damn spiders are gone. Ugh, spiders. Wait, isn't he in here now? Does anything pop in here? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so I can get shotgun shells from this guy, right? Ooh, even better than shotgun. Nice try, pal. Oh, you. <laughs> wow. Wow, if I die, I am going to be pissed. I got full health, so I shouldn't have to worry about anything. Okay. Right, this is another puzzle that I would lose a lot of time on, because I do not, I've never understood how these damn things work. 
it's pretty much by pure fucking coincidence that I actually get past this thing. Ugh, this is gonna be fun. This one's only gonna go one, I think. Ah! Foiled again. Ooh, crystal one. This could be it then. Ah! That's just a punch in the nuts right there. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Try the crystal in this one again. God! Oh my god. Okay, wait. Come on, load. Oh my god, shoot me now. Obsidian. This might be what I need. Oh, come on! Probably should have just looked this up on YouTube, but... I'm lazy. I don't believe this shit.
This might work. That's it. Screw this. For uh, I should actually. Okay, yeah, it's definitely time to save because I am not restarting this again. Well, at least this part for right now. <laughs> okay. I have these, and I think there's ammo over here. Gotcha. I can't, I can't, I'm not losing this and having to reset. Get away from me. Man, what a pain. Okay, yeah, that's not good. <laughs> well, I got single herbs, too, and a couple other ones, so... Just can't take risks anymore when I do these Let's Plays and it comes to this stuff. Oop. 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 Okay. There we go. See? go all is well all right, now I gotta grab that damn thing and save yeah Yes, I will use the damn ink ribbon. God. <laughs> 